In the area of water, the basic idea is the more you bring or the more you have, the longer you can stay. And so for us at this point in time, we use multiple large containers to hold drinking water and bring with us. I think our current setup allows us to bring out around 40 gallons or so of drinking water. This system has allowed us to stay out boondocking in these locations for longer periods. I think this amount of water will last us for normal usage and drinking for around six weeks. We will be exploring other methods to further extend our ability to stay out in boondocking type locations and not have water be our weak link. For most of the products that we mention in this video, we'll provide links in the description below so that you can find them easily when shopping for them. While these affiliate links do help out the channel monetarily in a small way, the good news is, is that if you use them, it doesn't increase your purchase price at all. So I know some people out there will install inline filter systems and be able to drink the water from their holding tanks, or they'll use things like treatment tablets or portable filter systems. And all of those ideas are interesting to us right now. If any of you are using some of those uh, systems or others and you're having good experience with it, as far as extending your ability to boondock, please add them in the comments below and let us know what you're doing successfully to increase your, your available drinking water. Still on the subject of water, another set of tips relates to how much water you're now putting into your holding tanks because another limiting factor for many of us uh, determining how long we can boondock uh, for amount of time would be holding tank management. And what that usually means for us is identifying tasks, big or small, that we can still undertake and not have that liquid go into the holding tank. So we're going to share some tips that might help you in this area. We share useful tips on more subjects like heat, water, food, and more in a full-length video elsewhere on our channel. Also, there's probably been an info card pop up above me that you can click on. The first area would be that of hygiene. So what we've begun doing is setting up things like a hand washing station with a dish of water and a pail beside it for refilling so that every time we wash our hands, we're not putting liquid into the holding tanks. In addition, we'll use a feature on our motorhome, hopefully you have one as well, which is an outdoor shower. And so if your propane reserves are flush or you have lots, you can heat up your water and run warm or hot water out to your outdoor shower and enjoy yourself a natural shower. There's very few things that are more refreshing than having an outdoor shower in nature while you're boondocking. Recently, we've added an outdoor shelter for increased privacy and we can use that for our outdoor showers or we can use it in another form of bathing that we sometimes utilize. If let's say we're short on water or propane, we will use a pot of water that's often heated on the fire. We'll take that in with uh, uh, soap and a rag and we'll do sponge baths that way. Utilizing this shelter, you can gain privacy pretty much wherever you like. If you have a naturally occurring water source nearby, you can utilize this for bathing as well. The last tip we have on this subject is we oftentimes, before we're leaving the city, we go to one of the dollar stores in the area and we grab several packages of baby wipes. So if you're in a situation where you want to freshen up, uh, this offers a waterless alternative to go ahead and do that. All right, washing dishes would be another uh, sort of water intensive activity that many of us are undertaking while we're boondocking. A uh, workaround that we've started to utilize in this area is we keep a separate bin in our sink around the same size as the sink. And what we'll do is we'll fill that with hot dish water wash the dishes in it, and then when we're done, we'll take that dishwater outside and pour it out. That way, none of the dishwater is going towards filling up our holding tanks. Thus, we're again extending how long we can stay out boondocking in any given location. On the days that we're using propane to heat our hot water tank, we usually like to lump our activities together in one day. So for example, if it's shower day, we'll also make it dishes day so that we can utilize more of the hot water that we've uh, used the propane to heat. In our particular unit, our hot water tank is six gallons. So that will give us enough for both of us to shower and wash the dishes all in one heat.
rather than using propane multiple times to do the same amount of tasks. The next area that you're going to want to pay attention to when you're looking to boondock longer is your food. 